everybody, it's Peggy. Uh, it's day 14 of our Wheatgrass Diary, and I always want to thank you for coming on board and taking the time, two to three or four minutes, to listen to what I have to say tonight. And tonight I want to talk to you about mold. And, you know, there's no quick fix on, on mold, you know, um, just so kind of watch out for it. I want to teach you a little bit about that, where it is in the wheatgrass. But I want to give you some helpful hints first. The first helpful hint I want to give you is the temperature. Your temperature wants to be around 70, 72 degrees. The wheatgrass grows really well in that temperature. The hydroponic wheatgrass grows really good in that temperature. Second of all, air movement. Air movement will help um, to reduce the mold. So if that can be done by a ceiling fan or a regular fan or even exhaust fan put in front of the window, that will also help. The third, I, the third thing I, I thought of was to reduce the seed, how much seed you put down. So this wheatgrass, hydroponically, it has like a whole cup in it, and you can see how rich and full it is. This one here, Joel and I did just a little bit less, so, you, so there's more air flowing through this wheatgrass. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you is there's about 1,500 different types of, of seeds and berries out there, so maybe uh, just check out more berries. Maybe you have a berry that's not producing the way you want to produce, and you're unhappy with it, so I don't, don't get frustrated, just find a different type of a seed. And um, the other thing I like to share with you, if there is mold down in there, just take a hose, uh, a, like in the sink, and just spray that off. That mold should come right off. And if it doesn't, then just take the grass and cut the grass and juice the grass. You may not have to do the root at that time. So I want to encourage you not to get frustrated, but just, just kind of keep moving through that and seeing uh, what that looks like for you. And then another thing I learned is when the seed is first um, producing, sometimes you can get like, it looks like a spider web. It looks, um, down in the roots, there's like a little spider web. Actually what that is, that is the seed saying, I need more water, feed me. So that's a good thing, that's not mold. So again, I wanna encourage you, it's not mold, it's not, it's not you can't get rid of, rid of it fast, it's, don't get hung up on it, but just kind of be aware of it. And then um, my Bible verse for tonight is, um, found in Proverbs chapter 12 verse 13 a person cannot stand firm on a foundation of wickedness and the roots of a righteous person cannot be moved so I want to just put a little bit more wheatgrass in here tonight and uh, put it in and I um, slide that through there just wanted a little bit more tonight and today is Passover we are celebrating Passover tonight. Joel and I are celebrating Passover tonight. And though that is one of the feasts of the Lord, is Passover. Okay, so here we go. Heading into a weekend. On the week ass diary, day 14. Here I want to say thank you, blessings. And it's, it's fun to see that as you get used to it, it's no big deal. It slides right down. So I want to say blessings, thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow on day 15.